Hi there. I uh, have this little system I'm building right here, which consists of this turning part right here, this rotor, as well as this pulley right here, the DC motor that's wired up to this DC power supply. Uh, when I turn on the variac here, as you can see that turns. But what I want to have happen is when that turns, I want it to turn this pulley right here. So I need to attach these two pulleys with a belt. Now normally what I do is use this uh, urethane tubing. Uh, actually, it's, this one's solid inside, so I wouldn't call it tubing. And uh, what you do normally is uh, you uh, find out the length that you want, and then you um, hold the two ends together in a, well, I usually use a candle flame, any heat source, like a stove or a, a burner or something. Uh, hold them together, and they'll melt together, and I usually just push them with my fingers to smooth it out. Um, not usually making a good job of it myself, but it, it does the work. It does the job. But the problem is, I don't have enough of it for this particular job. So what I thought I'd try is this: it's heat shrink tubing. It's uh, we find it in electrical stores, and it's used for, normally used for uh, adding to bare wire in order to insulate the wire electrically, uh, or to add insulation to existing insulated wire. But I figured it might work. For these purposes. All I need to do though uh, would be to somehow connect two ends together. And to do that, what I figured I'd try is, uh, is um, just twist, uh, fold one end and push it inside the other end and then heat it and hopefully that'll make a good joint. And I actually did try it uh, a long length like this and that actually did make a good joint. Um, so now I'm just going to measure out the correct length for my needs here, cut it, and uh, heat them together. So uh, that seems about a good tension right there. So I'll just mark the two ends right there. What I'm going to do is mark a one inch overlap and I'll push that one inch overlap in from one end to the other. And actually I should probably mark it here. So this will go into there. So I'll cut that at that point right there. So folding it is found is a little bit tricky. Um, so what I do is to fold it, I take an X-Acto knife from the blunt side of the blade and just kind of push it against the tubing until I get a little fold, like that. And then I stick that inside the other end of the tubing. And then I just keep doing that until I get the entire length inside that I want. And that works, uh, works fairly well, very fast. I don't want my belt to be too loose. I do have more tubing, but still don't want to waste any. Okay. I think I got it. Okay, that's the amount I measured. So next I'll get the heat gun out. My heat gun is a Mastercraft heat gun here. Uh, you can use a stove burner as well, or a torch if you want, but you don't want too much heat because if you heat this heat shrink too much, the ends here where the, uh, that are not in the overlap, the uh, outside the overlap, will get too soft and you'll have a, just a little flimsy area. So I'll just heat it a bit. That's the idea is just to get it so that it's gonna, not going to come apart. And there we go, let's give that a try. Open up my pulley system here. Simple as that. On there, put it on here. Put it down, don't need to add that back yet. And run the uh, power supply here. I'll turn it down and start it up slowly. And there we go, working belt. Here 
are some tips on uh, selecting a belt for pulleys. Um, you want a belt that has a lot of surface area in contact with the inside of the pulley. That way there's a lot of friction. And if there's a lot of friction between the belt and the pulley, then you don't have to put a lot of tension on the belt in order to turn the pulley. Uh, that way you don't have to make your system so rigid. You don't have so much stress on your system. Um, the very first one I actually ever tried when I was making pulleys and was new to all this was actually just string. A string has very little surface area. So if I put the same amount of tension that I was putting a minute ago, you see it's very hard to get this thing to turn with the string. And that's what happened is I had too much uh, strain on my pulleys and it just didn't work out at all. The second thing I tried was uh, shoelace, uh, round profile shoelace. And I just tied two ends together like this. That worked quite well. You don't have to put a lot of uh, tension on the belt. Uh, there is this little clump right here where it's tied and get a little unevenness in the movement of the pulley because of that, uh, where, where that knot meets the pulley. Um, well, sometimes it's not a problem, uh, sometimes it is. Here's the urethane, a special tubing that you use for this sort of thing. That's not bad, I don't put too much tension. But in fact, I think, it's hard to tell, but I think I'd put more tension with the urethane than I do with the heat shrink that I just made. That, I think, is the best of all of them so far.